So it's 420, oh, 422 p.m. 8th, 8th of August 2020. <clears throat> I just ate a pizza, a vegan pizza, it's an avocado and uh, shouldn't have eaten it, but I was too lazy to make a food and I was yeah, I was kind of feeling low. <laughs> Yeah. Why do I feel low? Why? So I'm seeing all these videos on uh, Catholicism. Uh, also, I've been seeing videos on the power of fasting. That's something I want to do. Like, I want to eat only one meal a day. Like uh, around three o'clock, eat my veggies too, and maybe a bit of bread, and that'll be my one meal a day. Fasting is actually good for you. Yes, not only your body but your soul as well. Here is a, a page about the. A list of mortal sins. What are mortal sins in the Catholic Church? And I was looking at it and it's like there was one sin in here is like oh oh it says it's having oneself sterilized. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> That's like me. But in order to be a mortal sin, there has to be like... For a, this is a quote from beautyzoancient.com What are mortal sins in the Catholic Church? Where can I find a list? Oh, they quote the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 1857. Quote, Mortal sin is sin whose object is grave matter, right? Grave matter, and which is also committed with full knowledge and deliberate consent. So, I didn't have full knowledge that, well, yeah, that that was a mortal sin. So I, I had the grave matter is satisfied. But the full knowledge is not satisfied. I guess deliberate consent is also satisfied. But if I don't have full knowledge, then I don't see how you can get consent. So I did not commit a mortal sin because I didn't know it was a mortal sin. Serious failure to care for your aging parents is a mortal sin. Then you have gluttony, all oh, the seven deadly sins. Uh, So, um, what was I thinking? Oh yes, let's read something. Here. One John, the let me take the New American Standard Bible. So this is the uh, 1 John 1. So this is the, uh, I don't know, I'll skip the subheadings. What was from the beginning? 
what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. And the life was manifested and we have seen and testify and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested to us. What we have seen and heard we proclaim to you also, so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. These things we write so that our joy may be made complete. So they start off by saying, let us start off by saying, this is our testimony. We have seen with our eyes. We have touched with our hands. And we, so, so they're saying this is a testimony. They're saying, you know, so it's like um, you know, when you go to a, when you go to a court and you're trying to prove something, you get witness testimony. This is like a witness testimony. They're saying we saw Jesus. He was the word of eternal life. And, okay. So that was introduction, the incarnate word. The word incarnate. Now the subheading is God is light. So 1 John 5. This is the message we have heard from him and announced to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Huh. All right, so... Hmm... So that's 1 John 1. I thought I'd read that. So as you can see, the, the letter is a testimony. We have seen and we have heard and we have touched. Touched the incarnate word which is which is manifested physically manifested. Oh man, this is so bleeding. Oh, I don't know. Why? I was gonna heal. Let me see. What did I do? Oh, anyway. Uh, yes, I have to do my fasting. I have to do my fasting. I think that will help my uh, mind. To have a clear mind. Fasting is good because when I eat food I notice that my mood sort of is affected. So fasting is a good thing. Fasting is a good thing. Yes, fasting is good. <laughs> 